what's good youtube family man this dj blessed one the best one so family we go viral again on instagram everywhere shout out to my brother patch mayweather from duct tape the entertainment aka the mob shout out to them real atlanta folks so he hit me up and let me know my nigga you viral <laughs> I'm always used to going viral, but now I'm viral for a different reason that it either could get some people mad at their own people or it can make me have a conversation with y'all. Let's have a conversation instead because I love each and every single one of y'all, even the misguided people who call themselves brothers and kings and queens and sis. Now, what's going on with the video is I went to the Julio Folio shooting site and we talked to several witnesses and people who seen it and we broke a lot of things, but we did not. We did not pinpoint who killed who who did what shout out to them real rights and them real ones in the streets that's not what my job is to do to play police what i do is get closure and do better descriptions as far as the events that happen better than your news team we the same people that cry all day about the white media and what they do and they don't make us look right well i do the news the right way and i don't get nobody in trouble so let's break it down now, a lot of people were, when I did the interviews of the people at the Home Tool Hotel, the Holiday Hotel, and the La Quinta Hotel, because all of them were in the same vicinity of that middle spot where Fulio got killed in the SRT. Now, what happened is, a lot, some, only 2% of the people on those viral Instagram videos and the people who was on my YouTube video, they kept telling us, we know this already. He didn't check in on the Holiday Inn. You didn't break any story. We wasn't trying to break a story. What we did was get proper closure from niggas like me that y'all respect, that looks like y'all, that can have the proper proper decorum and give the news the right way. So what I did was cover on things that the news didn't even cover on. Like, you had a lot of people who kept saying that the little shooters, the little do it, whatever you want to call it, his mama, do it. The car, do it. The dog, do it do it the goldfish do it these type dudes y'all told me they did a perfect drill and nobody would have get hurt niggas is just crying which was false i i showed proof it's really helping the little shooters and the people of the communities all at the same time it's letting them know that rico is coming gang because i looked at the spots the news didn't look at forget about the walls only that was shot up which right there that's gonna enact the rico you look upstairs on the second floor or third floor i think it was the second floor you can see a round of the ar go through that bitch so what i do is just do a proper journalist work i talk to the people actually there you hear me talking to one of the females there she had a home girl who was pregnant and the home girl was staying there and the workers was talking to me too because they don't want to get fired and the pregnant woman had to duck down from one of the shots coming right across. So yes, a pregnant woman almost died from that too. So these are the things I do with our news. We don't tell you who shot who or who did what. I'm not getting into all that. But our people are so lost, all they could say is you're snitching, but they can't tell you what you're snitching on. We grew so accustomed to looking cool. The same weak ass nigga that said we snitching will be the same one who called 911 if I smack him in the head. Will be the same one who see me in real life and I real life it and he'll cross the street and call for help. And it's, it's disturbing because these the same group of people who not even in the streets, they don't come from our neighborhoods. These people are not part of what we do and what we got going on. And I blame that on part of certain communities, but let's fast forward with it, I digress. I'm gonna be cocky as hell because the niggas who like calling you a snitch is never the real street niggas, never the actual niggas who laid somebody down. It's some goofy nigga who's at home, whose favorite YouTube, because when you click on a platform, you see who they subscribe to. I'm like, hold on. The nigga that you subscribe to is an actual informant. I'm not even hating on him, bro. Trenches News TV is an actual informant for the last 12 years, gang. 12 years this nigga done took everybody you know off the streets <laughs> but you subscribe to that nigga and give him views but you'll come to me and call me a snitch even though we didn't tell on nobody we're not solving cases all we do is we do better information that was given on the news tv because ain't that what we asked for we need somebody that looked like us giving the news until we get somebody that looked like us and generational curses take over what's the generational cur curses being jealous of another nigga being angry because the same white people you worship and look up to that I don't dance for, they giving me credit for breakdowns and doing actual journalism and work like that. You see that and place upon a name and a dishonor in me when I don't lack any dishonor. I lack all honor, my nigga. 
I can still hang in certain neighborhoods you'll be afraid to go to. All my life has been like that. Shout out, it was street niggas hitting me up and telling me, congratulations, you viral for the right reasons. But it's always the goofy niggas who bring the snitch terminology into spectrums of things. I'll give my YouTube channel to any man and woman because I'm the type of hustler. I've done it already. I'll take a YouTube channel out the ground and build it up. Real hustlers do that. But I'll give my entire YouTube channel away. Plus, I'll give y'all $20,000. Nah, I'm, I'm going to be fair. $10,000 on the spot in front of the masses. If you could tell me one person I told on, one information that makes me in trouble from catching niggas on the streets and arresting anybody, any of my videos that arrest anybody, I'll give you all my platform, but you can't. It's more cooler to be a follower on the Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, which is X now, or YouTube or Facebook. It's more cool to just yap and yappity yap than give a nigga they props. Because the same nigga calling you a rat, he the same nigga watching his news station information that I take and actually go investigate it. Facts. I don't solve crimes. I don't do anything over here at the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. I got a good voice. You know who told me that? FBG Cash and Fredo Santana, rest in peace to both them kings. My Chicago partners always gave me love for what I do with my platform. Cash told me, you got the perfect white voice, you like a hood DJ academics. Made me feel good, I was supposed to do a documentary with him, it is what it is. Them niggas in the NO of Louisiana to see a grown man give you a hug, almost share a tear and be like, bro, we love what you do for us, bro. We love how you give money away to our communities. All I do is give giveaways. You love my foundation of giving homeless people food, shelter, clothing, not just on Thanksgiving days. This is bigger than Nino Brown. You feel me? So I get love from the so-called people who you think hates my videos. They the ones who give me love the most. The real ones who's going through it, who got to wake up in them nightmares neighborhoods and them nightmares from not being able to feed their kids. I'm the one who's going to come and give your kids a diaper. And I'm not going to have no weird song talking about now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. We don't do that. We don't ridicule and make fun and mock the people that we love. I wake up every day. Now, if I was a crime solver, your favorite rappers and niggas out here would have been locked up a long time ago. I'll be on some trenches news vibes. But you niggas force niggas to become rats because the niggas who don't tell who have honor in their heart they don't get no type of respect for being honorable and not being a rat y'all actually call them a rat i seen y'all let 1090 jakes violate a lot of real niggas and y'all give them a round of applause but y'all call me the rat so i guess to get respect for my own people i gotta be be a few shades of white but I'm not gonna think like that because 98 to 99% of my people know what I do. Even the street niggas know what I do and they give me my props. Now, Fulio family gave me my props. ATK personnels and associates gave me my props because nothing I do get people arrested. Everything I do is just open up eyes. So make you love your brother, make you love your sister. That's the credit I look for. That's what crimes I'm trying to solve. I'm trying to solve the biggest crime in the world the hatred amongst black people towards each other. So my videos only solve the love within our communities to make us grow, to make us think, and to make you call me your brother. So is DJ Bless one his brother's keeper? You motherfucking right I am. I will always be my brother and my sister keeper. Don't let that part go over your head and my sister's keeper. So feel free to call me a rat while you give all your information to these hood niggas who got their pants sagging and you want to find out for the last 10, 12 years, them the real informants. Them the real niggas getting the whole neighborhood indicted and locked up. But you love that type of ish. You love that type of fraud behavior. Shout out to DTE, Duct Tape Entertainment, Duct Tape the Mob. Shout out to all them real ones who love what we do. We ain't gonna stop. It's a movement over here. I just cele celebrated my birthday in Uptown and in where Calio Projects used to be at. Man, I fought with Louisiana the long way. F feel me? No, no ditty, corny things. I'm not saying none of that. I do. I rock with Louisiana the long way. We about to go to Baton Rouge right now. We just left Louis, um, New Orleans. You feel me? I'm about to go to Baton Rouge. After Baton Rouge, we're going to skedaddle down to Shreveport, then go to Lafayette. I might swing something else in there, but these are the spots of all my partners in them over there. So I definitely do it, bro. I could be touched. 
If I was this rat out here, I would never get love from these neighborhoods that y'all just talk about and your favorite rapper don't even walk from. Your, rap, your favorite rapper from these neighborhoods and they can't even go back to that bit. And I can go back to my hood of Briar County, Florida, Merrill's Park, baby, all the way. This is not to prove how thorough I am, none of that. It's the proof I'm honored when y'all call me this rat terminology with nothing su to substantiate it. It proves me correct. I gotta go harder in the paint to make black folks love each other more. But we already do love each other. We just got the misguided ones that spread like cancers amongst the ranks of the rest of us. So I'm gonna remind us, ain't nothing better in the world than melanated people. The most beautiful thing I've seen when I woke up, I seen a melanated person in my face and that was my mother. Then I seen a doctor who gave us life, which was two of them, it was a white dude and a black dude my mom let us know. So melanated people, y'all always gonna be in my heart. I love the entire world. When I drop these videos from New Orleans, you'll see what type of love we get. All them niggas in the hood seen my videos. These niggas ain't never called me no rat. So feel free for you busters who say that. The hate is true, the hate is real, but I'm only gonna carry positive energy for all my real ones. Once again, the bet is, if you can prove I ratted on anybody, any so-called killer, anything, you can have my channel. I said it, I'm a man of my word. Blessings and graces be to the most high. You can have it if you can prove that. Other than that, get out your feelings and give love to your brother who's doing hard work for his people, not just yapping on his mama's couch doing YouTube videos. Love your family, love your kids. Stay blessed.